The first step of my process is to identify where the client is feeling the most significant pain. So I ask the client to point to that pain with their index finger and to the, where the center of their most prominent pain is. At that point, what is your pain on a scale of 1 to 10 at rest? 6. Is there any motion that increases that pain without further aggravating the condition? Turning my head to the right. Okay, go ahead and with your shoulders square, turn your, turn your chin to the right and close your right eye for me. Go as far as you can and tell me where it starts to feel more uncomfortable. Right there. Okay, what's your pain scale at that position? 8. 8. Can you go any further? No. no. Okay, so your right eye is now closed. What do you see on the wall that you, as far as you can go to the right before your nose blocks your vision? Uh, the bar in the center. Okay, perfect, excellent. Now let's repeat from center, go just the opposite direction, closing your left eye first. Clo go to the left. Tell me where the pain starts to increase. No pain. No, no pain, okay. And then go ahead and go back to center for me. So the only increased discomfort is when you turn your chin to the right and it went from a six to an eight, is that correct? Correct. Perfect. At this point, I'm going to select my settings. The way to select proper settings is based on the depth of the target. My client is an average size male. My setting would be different if it was a small, let's say, senior person that has less muscle mass or a very large person with either a larger muscle mass or maybe potentially an overweight client. So in this case, my depth of penetration in my trapezius muscle or the neck muscle that he pointed to is going to be approximately three to four centimeters deep. At that point, I select the protocol that the button on my unit that says my protocols. I select the setting that says uh, three to four centimeters. I press the start button to arm the laser. At this point, I ask the client to put on the safety goggles. Anybody in the room within six feet of the equipment needs to be wearing safety goggles at all time. I select my handpiece. I put the handpiece directly in the palm of my hand and I pull the cable off, so the fiber optic cable, so that I can have good range of motion while I'm treating. When I press the red button that says standby, it now goes to green. I've armed the laser. I have a guide light that I can now see. It is a therapeutic color, but it's red. It's just for the purposes of seeing where I'm treating. I place the handpiece directly against the client's neck where he said the pain is most prominent. Click the button one time on the handpiece, and now I start to use firm pressure and a gentle sliding motion in the either a two by seven treatment area or a three by five treatment area. I choose one or the other based on the anatomical location of the pain and the ability to treat it. I will treat in two and a half minute increments and then I'll retest both the pain and the range of motion at that point. If my pain scale was higher than five to start, I might go to five minutes before I retested. Um, I might not. He's a good sized, healthy individual, so I typically start right away at two and a half minutes. I tell the client that this should feel warm but never uncomfortable. It should feel like sunshine. And then I ask the client if they have any questions. And if they don't have any questions, I'll ask them if they've ever used laser therapy before. If this is their first session, most of the time they say no. And then I explain that light is very much like photosynthesis. Our cells absorb the light and they use that energy to increase circulation, decrease inflammation, and accelerate rate and quality of tissue repair. By that time, I'm usually pretty close to my two and a half minute increments, so I can start to retest the range of motion. It's extremely important that the handpiece is moved as slowly as possible. The slower the light, or the handpiece is moved, the more depth of penetration we can achieve with the light and the more photons we can deliver to the tar deeper targets. I also want to use firm hand, uh, pressure on the handpiece because it blanches the blood and the lymphatic uh, uh, fluid from the tissue, again allowing my light to penetrate more deeply. Plus it's a manual therapy so it feels good and it, um, it accelerates the outcomes from a pain management perspective. I've got about 30 seconds to go. And I usually check in with my client and, and ask them at this point, does it still feel comfortable? Is there any discomfort at all? Excellent. All right. Now, if, if the person had dark hair or dark skin, I might have to go slightly faster than a, a lighter skin person. And if I'm in the hairline, because light is picked up by color,
it can, it can feel kind of prickly, so I, can, I sometimes will have to go a bit faster in that setting. I'm now at two and a half minutes. I pause my handpiece by clicking the button one time, put the, the handpiece in the palm of my non-dominant hand, and now I'm gonna retest range of motion. At rest, where my finger is, where I treated, and where your initial dominant pain was, what is your pain on a scale of one to 10? One. One, perfect. Let's do the range of motion. Turn your chin to the right first, closing your right eye. Tell me when you feel an increased discomfort. Not really any. No, no increased discomfort, you're still at a one. And your pain, your motion is? Quite a bit further. Probably what? Feet. Couple of feet further, on, okay, that's perfect. So we've improved both range of motion and pain, and our pain is less than one, so we're done. My, at this point, typically a client will notice another pain in this uh, affected area because we've eliminated the most dominant pain and, and uncovered, if you will, a less dominant pain. So do you, see, do you feel any other discomfort at rest? No. With range of motion, please go right and left again, slowly, and tell me if there's any increased range of motion. Much better. Much better? Much better, perfect. All right, so this, technically we're finished with this protocol, so I'm gonna disarm my laser, re return my handpiece, and then I'm gonna actually start palpating. Our treatment windows are 15 minute windows. Oftentimes people don't feel pain when they're at rest or with motion, but I can start to palpate common areas that increase discomfort or contribute to the overall pain. Those areas are the base of the skull. Is there any decreased discomfort there? A little bit. What's the scale on a scale of one to ten with palpation? Four. Okay, and on this one? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, another area is the front of the it's called the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Pressure there? What's the pain there? Four. Okay, so and another area I can palpate anywhere in the trap areas and see if I can find any more discomfort. Anything here? Okay. All right. So now I've identified th uh, two more areas of discomfort. I'll rearm my laser. Again, keeping the laser handpiece in the non-dominant hand until I put it directly against the skin. In this case, I'm going to use a 3 by 5 treatment area size because it's not long and narrow, it's more short and wide, kind of like a playing card. Again, my pace is very slow. I'm using firm pressure. And I'm just repeating. I'll go left to right when I'm all the way to the left side, I'll pick my handpiece up and start back on the right side and work my way left again. I'll again treat in a two and a half minute increment and then reassess my pain. Okay, we've expired two and a half minutes in this location. With palpation, can you tell me what the pain is right now? Zero. Zero, perfect, that means I'm finished. So the next step then is to treat the area on the neck that he indicated was uncomfortable as well and I'll treat this area again in two and a half minute increments until my pain is a one or less both at rest with range of motion and palpation this is my final step which is palpation now an interesting thing is when we treat in the neck in this area even though we're treating for the pain we're also treating over top where the vagus nerve exists and the vagus nerve is a autonomic nervous system function um, nerve pathway. So by treating this area, we're actually getting two benefits. We're reducing the pain locally, and we're getting what's called a neural mediated anti-inflammatory response by directly treating over the vagus nerve. All right, I'm at two and a half minutes. Put the handpiece of my dominant hand, and I'll palpate this area. What's your pain there? Zero. Zero, so I'm a less pain scale of less than one in the neck, the base of the skull, and in the neck area where he originally felt the pain. It took me two and a half minutes per location, and in seven and a half minutes, I've completed my therapy, and the client is pain-free. I'm gonna return my laser to its handpiece, disarm the laser, keep my fiber optic cable up off the ground, and I ask the client, how do they feel about today's therapy? Great. Wonderful.